What's up, pranksters? Welcome back. This video, guys, is pretty random. I'm just gonna throw out a bunch of hacks for you guys. Most of them you guys can apply to school, but you guys can use them in an everyday basis. They're pretty fun, so I hope you guys like them. Also, guys, just a reminder, I'm giving away an Xbox One X, so if you guys want a chance to win that, check out my Instagram. So now, let's get started. Hit that thumbs up button and check it out. All right guys, this is a clipboard, and a clipboard has many uses. For example, I'm gonna show you a couple. For the first one, we're gonna turn this clipboard into a dry erase board. And to do that, we'll need a piece of blank paper like this. This is white paper. So we're gonna take the clipboard and flip it over, and then we're gonna take this piece of white paper and place it on the back. Then take some clear tape and tape it on there. So I'm gonna take long strips of clear tape and attach it to the back of this clipboard. Not only that guys, but I'm gonna cover this whole piece of paper with clear tape. So don't mess a spot guys. So here it is guys, we pretty much covered the whole back of the clipboard with clear tape. Let's see how well this really works. Look at that guys. And the best part is that if you make a mistake, you can easily erase it like this. So have fun guys. These are for fast notes that you guys can take. And of course, like I said, you guys can erase them easily with a piece of tissue paper. The main function of a clipboard is for you to write on top of it because maybe you're somewhere where there's not a table around, there's no counter to place your paper on, so you need the clipboard to be able to write on it. Well, let's say that you gotta do some work, and this is math, so let's say you're working on math, and these are math equations that you need the calculator for, for example, five plus two. Let's say you don't know that answer. Well, this is my calculator, which is actually my phone, but it has a calculator. So I use my phone to do this equation, but it gets annoying, guys, having to hold my phone, having to hold the clipboard, and having to hold the pen or pencil that I'm writing with. Well, here's an awesome hack that will work for you guys. What I have here is a magnet. I'm gonna place a magnet on the clip, just like this. Now the inside of my phone right here, I also have a magnet. Now this magnet, I use it for everything. I can place my phone on anywhere. This came with the phone holder that I bought. So basically guys, all I do is place my phone on the clip like this. It instantly attaches on and look at that. It won't fall or nothing. And I can easily do my work. For example, five plus two equals seven. So I can do my work and not worry about holding my phone. See how easy it is, guys? And so you're in class, guys, and this is a pencil that I'm writing with. Well, these can get very uncomfortable after using them so many times for so long. You start getting blisters on your fingers, and you don't want that. You wanna put a cushion on there, so if you don't got a pencil grip or a pencil cushion that you can use, you guys can make your own, and for that, you guys are gonna need some regular tape, and guess what, guys? We'll be using some bubble tape as well. Yeah, I know, it sounds crazy, but it totally works. So we're gonna grab ourselves a piece. About this length works. We're gonna cut it off. And now we're gonna wrap it around our pencil. So pick the best spot on your pencil and roll it. I'm actually gonna do two rolls of this. So one and two, just so that it covers the whole area where they get uncomfortable when writing. All right, perfect. Then I'm gonna push it in and mold it in. So it sticks on. At this point, it should look like this. I'm gonna take my tape to hold it in place. I'm gonna wrap it around. That way the gum isn't going anywhere. And here it is, pranksters. We just made ourselves a little pencil cushion. Now if you guys don't have any bubble tape, you guys can use regular gum sticks. They work just as well. And look, now I won't get any blisters when I'm writing on a piece of paper. Here's my badge, and of course, as you guys can see, it's missing a lanyard or something to attach it onto myself. So if you guys run into this problem where you don't have a lanyard or a badge holder, this is what you guys are gonna need. Just some floss. This stuff is really tough, it's durable, so get yourself a large piece. And the best part about this is that it's lightweight, so it won't give you any issues as far as weight. So basically, all you guys do is attach it onto your badge. Here I have two holes for both ends, which I'm gonna tie on. And that's it, guys, look. You just put this around your neck, and you're good to go throughout the whole day. I'm sure a lot of you guys have run into this problem. You get a pencil and it has no eraser, either because it fell out, somebody took it, or it just wore out. So now you have this empty spot right here 
Well, guess what? Here's an easy way that you guys can fill this back up. What I have here is a piece of big eraser. Now all I gotta do guys is take this pencil without the new eraser and just push it in like this. So now that I've cut into it, look, it's right there. So at this point, all I gotta do is pull it out. And now I put it on my eraser. <laughs> look at that. You guys can get a bigger size if you want. This one works for me. Watch, I'm gonna show you once again. You take your pencil and you jam it inside an eraser. A big eraser. As far deep as it'll go. So push it in. So once it's all the way in, you guys can use a blade and then on the side just make a cut for easier access. And that's it guys. You guys can easily pull out that piece of eraser and just put it on your pencil like this. I really really love this hack guys, so try it out. What I have here is my three ring binder. I'm sitting in the classroom, I'm facing that way, the teacher's facing me. Well here's a great way that you guys can sneak your phone into class. You guys can actually use your phone while in class if you do this. Basically get yourself a three ring binder like this. If you guys open it, <laughs> look at that, <laughs> I have my phone right there. Now my phone is attached to the binder with a piece of tape. So the way that my phone is right now, my teacher can't see it from her end or his end. Basically this is their view. They can only see the piece of tape, but really it's not suspicious at all. Other than that, they can't really see my phone. Now me, this will be facing me. Of course I'll be able to see my phone. I can watch videos, play games, use a calculator, whatever. Now if I sense the teacher is coming, approaching me from that end, all I gotta do is pretend like I'm opening the binder like this, and that's it. Look at that. And then when they leave, I open it back up, and there's my phone once again. It's tilted. Look at that, open, closed. Open, closed. Works every time. This is a great way to stay organized. Right here I have a phone charger. This is pretty long, I have some tape right here. All we're gonna need here is the case, so I'm gonna remove the tape, just like that. So this is all we're gonna need. So basically what we're gonna do guys is we're gonna roll the phone charger inside of this. So with this sticking out through the side, I'm gonna insert one end of the phone charger like this. See? It should look like this at this point and then I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna take a binder clip and attach it on. Basically what it does is it keeps everything in place, nothing comes out. Now the phone I can place on top like this as a phone stand. It's just a great way to stay organized. What I have right here are my favorite chips ever. I love these, but I can never finish the whole bag. They're really spicy, so if I wanna keep them fresh and I wanna have quick access to them, I hate having to roll it up and out all the time. So here's a really awesome hack that you guys can do if you guys happen to have this issue as well. This is a container that I have. It had my protein stuff in there. I don't really need it no more because obviously it's empty. So what I'm gonna do is just remove this part, the part where the cap twists on, and that's pretty much all we need. So I'm gonna remove this, cut it out, and it should be fairly easy right here because my blade is really sharp. So if you guys are using blades, always, always be careful. <laughs> now we're gonna untwist this. Now this end right here, we're gonna put the bag through it and then out. So it's gonna wrap around the top. And that's pretty much it guys. Look, you have access to your chips, but if you wanna close it up, all you guys gotta do is twist the cap on. And that's it. It'll keep your chips fresh, and when you guys want to eat some more, just undo the cap. And your chips are right there, available. So again, just close it up once you're done eating chips. You can twist it, actually this is, it's easier if you just snap it in. And that's it guys. There you guys have it. Simple hacks for your everyday problems.
And there you guys have it. I hope you guys enjoyed these hacks. They're really fun. I had a fun time making them for you guys. So if you guys enjoyed them, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up button. Also subscribe if you haven't yet. I love making videos for you guys. And I will be posting more and more as we go. So if you guys want to get alerted of when I post my next video, don't forget to hit that bell post notifications button so you guys know when I post my next video. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. I'll see you pranksters in my next video. So I'm gonna use these four for the pencil grip that I'm about to make. So basically guys, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the eraser caps in half like this. We're gonna slide the pencil through them like this. Perfect. Look at that. You have yourself a pencil grip. And I'm gonna take some white out, take some of this, and just fill up my cap. And I'm just gonna cover the cap like this. And the cool thing about this is that it snaps into place. And I'm gonna take the white out covered cap and tape it on the end of the Sharpie. Just like this, pranksters. All around. Perfect. Look at this.